all about Mexico for kids. The official name for the country of Mexico is the United Mexican States. It is the third largest country in Latin America and has the most Spanish speakers of any country in the world. Divided into 31 states and one federal district, Mexico City, Mexico has a rich, ancient history. Here is an interesting fact. Mexico is just under three times the size of the U.S. state of Texas and has a population of about 120 million people. Throughout the country, there are remnants and relics of the past, including ancient cities and pyramids. Most are still part of the architecture of modern-day towns. Pretty cool, right? Mexico's terrain includes high mountains, low coastal plains, high plateaus, and desert regions. Most of Mexico's bigger cities are found in the northern parts of the country, with rainforests in the south and east and deserts in the west. The climate varies from desert to tropical, depending on the region. The country is bordered by the Pacific Ocean to the west and south, the Gulf of Mexico to the east, and the Caribbean Sea, Guatemala, and Belize to the southeast. In the north, Mexico borders the American states of California, Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas. Here is another interesting fact. The border between Mexico and the United States is the second longest border in the world. For real! The border is about 2,000 miles long. Here is another bonus fact. The Rio Grande makes up about 890 miles of the border between the two countries. That is a super long distance and would be quite the swim. Do you like cool animals? Mexico has lots. Mexico has the most reptiles in the entire world and the second most mammals. There are jaguars, pumas, and iguanas. Not to mention the fact that its waters have whales, manta rays, and manatees. And the jungles of Mexico are home to lizards, monkeys, and parrots. Mexico has an interesting history that is typically divided into three periods. Early, middle, and recent. Let's start with the early period. Have you heard of the Olmecs, Mayans, Toltecs, or Aztecs? These are all ancient civilizations that were indigenous or native to Mexico. The Olmecs were the first known society in Mexico. Then came the Mayans. The Mayans were a highly intelligent people that developed the calendar and a writing system. They were also religious and built altars and pyramid-style temples. The Toltecs came next in the 10th century, building the city of Tula, which housed about 40,000 people. Last, but definitely not least, were the Aztecs. The Aztecs were a 15th century society of around 5 million people. The Aztecs had schools, governments, an army, and many religious ceremonies that included dances, processions, and sacrifices. The beginning of the Middle Period happened in 1519 with the arrival of the Spanish invaders, most often referred to as conquistadors. These conquistadors, which is Spanish for conquerors, were led by a man named Hernán Cortés. They attacked and defeated the Aztecs in 1521 and colonized their land, calling it New Spain. They also brought new diseases and enslaved many indigenous people. In more recent history, Mexico gained independence from Spain in 1821 
and drafted a constitution. Additional problems happened when one of the new leaders declared he was the emperor of the new country. He was overthrown a year later, and a new constitution was written that established a republic-style government with 19 states and four territories. At the time, Texas was also a part of Mexico and wanted to gain their independence as well. This led to the Mexican-American War, which ended with American forces gaining independence for Texas. Between 1876 and 1909, a dictator took over as Mexico's leader, and the Mexican people protested being mistreated. This started a civil war called the Mexican Revolution, which lasted for 10 years. To compare, the Civil War in the United States was only four years long. There have been lots of periods of unrest and rebellion throughout Mexico's long history. Today, tourism is a huge part of Mexico's economy, and the beauty and history of its landmarks and landscape attract millions of visitors every year. Here are some of the attractions that people like to visit. Chichen Itza was an ancient Mayan city built between the 8th and 12th centuries and has a huge pyramid called El Castillo. Want to know something cool about Chichen Itza? It is considered one of the seven new wonders of the world. Acapulco Beach is Mexico's most popular beach city. It is known for its golden sandy beaches and its crystal blue water. Mexico City is the capital of the country and is full of museums, art galleries, and other attractions. Another cool thing about the city, it is surrounded by volcanic mountains. It is probably the perfect place to rock and roll. <laughs> Last but not least, we have the ancient city of Teotihuacan. Teotihuacan was a huge city constructed between 100 BC and 700 AD, near present-day Mexico City. While archaeologists cannot tell for sure which civilization actually built the city, they do know that it reached a population of around 200,000 people. And there are many, many more wonderful sights to see in this country. Now that you have learned more about Mexico, let's see what you remember. True or false, Mexico is home to the most reptiles in the world. True. Fill in the blank. The blank grand makes up about 890 miles of the border between the United States and Mexico. The Rio Grande. Name one tourist attraction that we discussed today. Possible answers are Chichen Itza, Acapulco Beach, Mexico City, and Teotihuacan. Great job, everybody! Mexico is a country rich in history and culture. Maybe you have already visited this cool country. Or maybe one day you will be able to visit and see all of the places we have talked about with your very own eyes. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.